Twitch. Oh, I gotta. I'll put that on Discord. Just hold on. Oh, okay. There. Should be up and running now. Yep. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh, it's already done downloading. Awesome. Neat. Yeah, it's fun. What you gonna start with, Desperado? Uh, the uh, the chonk thonk. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> great sword. Toot toot magoot. Oh, the chonk thonk. That's right. <laughs> the, the 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 toot toot is the what is it? What we was it? Doot doot newt newt. I don't know. Like pingu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doot doot newt newt. Sa so Sash hasn't had a chance to play it yet. Mm -mm. I wonder if she. Oh, I, I wonder if she. Uh, <laughs> if she. Uh, <coughs> if she's gonna like uh, <coughs> the new hunting horn. Does it play anything like the old hunting horn? Didn't. Touch I don't it know. Yet. Okay. Someone was. Uh, I was reading something online. She's that not like watching any spoilers. That's all I know. Yeah, like they completely changed it, and it's like OP now. played with one on my team, it was knocking me around more than the longsword user, and it was really upsetting. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that will make Sash happy, but I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, because unfortunately the demo came out um, literally like 20 minutes after she left the house for work. I saw. I laughed. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> that was funny. Because <laughs> then she at least could have downloaded it for when she came home. Right. But yeah, I don't know what time Dano got home, but yeah, he was trying since he got home and he had no luck either until I got home and then, yeah. They're both you're downloading like it's working, it now. It's fine. And you're like, and they're like, what? think after what is it class tonight we'll just jump over to OCX and have everybody sure. you know in yeah. a bu in a bunch of groups and we can make we can we can divide ourselves into hunting groups I'm not going to be picked last am I because I'm the noob <laughs> no, you can jump with us yep. we, c we can have Japanese team <laughs> we can uh we'll start with the simple hunt so you can get used to the controls and kind of get you the info you needs yeah, I'm going to need to practice, especially because, like, I was thinking, I was like, oh, if I have the, I mean, it's going to be really painful at the same time, but if I have, like, the luck of um, actually managing to get the game to review, one, not talking to you guys about it is going to be, like, so painful. <laughs> um, but also, I want to, you know, not have to, you know, take too long to figure it out. Well, sure. Well, yeah. Well, what we could do, and this is also another thing that we can do, is that if if you want to get your get your wings with it and whatnot, we can let you go after a monster, and we'll go hunt the other monsters, and then come back at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there actually more than one in each bit? Like, it's like a oh yeah. I was uh, wondering the, how they've the constructed The simple it. quest has two monsters uh, on the map, and the ether or the harder quest has three. Um, you can actually use them to, they, they, you can easily, like, when you mount a monster, you can take it to go fight another one. Hmm. Cool. And there's an easy way to abuse the system for mounting like that is, um, what you do is you beat up one monster, and if you chuck one monster at another, um, the next monster you chuck it at will now be able to be mounted on top of. So then you switch over to the other monster, and then beat, beat the crap out of the, the monster you were just riding with the new one.
and I got some damage. I was stoked with um when I grabbed Mitsutsune to fight my Raytheon. Um, I like broke both wings with one attack, and then broke its back, and then killed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, oh, cool. Um, what do I do with this Mitsutsune I'm riding? I was gonna chuck it into him." <laughs> All right, let's get started here. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. We are uh, going to go over just the basic guidelines, rules, whatever you want to call them, and uh, then we'll jump right into it. Basically, uh, things to keep in mind that if, uh, what is it, um, when you're learning, it does not you don't feel like you're getting it, you're probably not getting it. Or you, if it doesn't feel like it's working, uh, something needs to get changed up. Could be what is it um, the way that the teacher's presenting it? Could be the way um, what is it you're getting the materials that the teacher's using? It could be a whole slew of different things, but uh, these are things just to keep in mind. And uh, if you feel like you're not getting it, well, most likely it's the teacher. So uh, you what you really want to make sure is that if when you're learning, you want the teacher to make sure that the teacher is using things that um, are going to help you uh, learn better and if it's not if that's if you're not getting it then um, you need to change teachers <laughs> and uh, if the um, stuff that you're learning isn't relevant you're pro or interesting you're probably not acquiring much so um, all right well let's get started we'll move in oh we're on a new page aren't we I grabbed the wrong thing here. We are on page, I think it's 112 now. Ooh, okay. uh, I think that's what it was. Let me double check that. It's not supposed to be... I forgot to put that in there. Ha ha. Oh, it's 104. So you need to be in on page 104 is the beginning part of the vocabulary. And um, if you want to take notes, you can. You don't have to, but uh, it 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 does help a little bit. So, uh, and for some people, it doesn't help at all. Like I'm one of those people that taking notes just doesn't help me at all. So, anywho, let's get started with the first things. We're gonna learn about living things and non-living things, because that's how you tell that something exists. So something pointing to um, so, so we learned like this and that before, like, uh, what is it? Like, this is a cat. Do you remember like, this is a cat? Uh, oh, wow. That's a blank right now for me. I like I no word for cat. cat. <laughs> right. So uh, we had, we had the, the. The thing where you had the triangle that was close to you, the triangle that was a little bit away from you, and then you had. Oh, uh, isn't that like Doko, uh, Coco, uh, oh man, Dare, that's it. Uh, Very dare, good. Dore, kore, sore are the three, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, or... It's um, so Kono. Mm. And then, then there's kore. Okay. So it, if you're saying this is a cat, it's kore wa neko desu. Okay. But okay. now we're going to uh, say, what is it? There is a neko, or there is a cat over there, sort of thing. Like, uh, there is a cat. Not this is a cat, but there is a cat. If that okay. makes sense. Mm. So, uh, n for non-living things, you have ga, aru, and for living things, you they use ga iru. So the first one is a new word here is uh, tsukue. Do you want to look at your list and tell me what tsukue means? desk that is correct it is desk so living or non-living thing <laughs> oh. so yeah uh 
So done. does it go before or after? It goes at the it goes it, after. No, it goes before. Okay, so so it'd be uh uh Garu Tsukue? Uh what is it? Tsukue? Su- oh sorry, it goes after. Uh Tsukue Garu. Very good. And then Aru is Arimas. We learned Arimasen. So now yeah. we're learning uh, Aru is the base form. So Arimas. Got it. Now I understand where we're at. Okay. Okay. So one more time. Could you say that for me? Uh, uh, tsuku or yeah, Tsuke. No, Tsukue. Garimas. Uh, Garimas. Ga arimas. Oh, Very so good. Two words. Yep. Because ga is the particle. Got it. And Eddie, let's take a look at the next one. Um. What is that? Can you read it for me? Uh. Oh, <laughs> Neko. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Is it living uh, or non-living? <laughs> um, hang on a minute. So living is gairu. Yes. So yeah. So but you're okay. you're changing it into the the yeah the yeah. And iru so, is a ru verb. Yeah. yeah. So. So that's gonna be neko. Imas. Imas. Yeah. Okay, try one more time. Neko ga imas. Very good. And the next one here. What is the next one here? Lavitz? Uh Impitsu pencil. Very good. I ju- I just knew that one. I'm happy with myself. <laughs> so Impitsu uh ga arimas. Very good. And the next one here? Eddie? Uh, oh, he hit you with uh, that katakana. Yeah. I know. Her. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> um, go on, oh, go on. After I know what know. that is. That's a oh. hanabaga. Right? Hambaga. Very Han-baga. good. Hambaga. Yes. Very good. And go ahead and use it with. Uh, um, Hambaga ga arimasu. Very good. Now I'm going to skip one here and I'm going to have Lavitz do this one here. Yeah, because <laughs> the answers are just alternating. Got it. Uh, uh, Hito. Uh, I have to look that up, actually. Well, Hito. I'll give you, I'll give you an, an example. We learned Nihon yeah. before. I found it already, but, <laughs> right? but yeah. Hito is person. so it's, That's right. So we had uh, Nihon so Jin. Hito ga imasu. Yeah. Very good. And then, uh, Eddie, I'm going to hit you with some more uh, <laughs> katakana. Uh, Sounds easy. Oh, uh, wait. Kohi? Yeah, very good. Kohi. Kohi? Um, kohi uh, ga arimas. Very good. And then Lavitz. All right, let's see. That's go. Han, which Very, would be breakfast. Um, technically, technically it's rice, but they also use it for the Got meal it, of the right. day. Isn't breakfast asagohan? Very good. Yeah, but it's morning rice. Yeah. Okay, so gohan rice, gohan rice is alive. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ga arimas. Very good. And then the last one here. Wait, didn't you just say the rice is not living? It's it isn't. It's, that was a joke. <laughs> no, because like, this technically is not. Um, a, it 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 based what what the what I'm trying to get at with the living and non living. It's technically meaning moving, like things that move. So oh. a plant would always be any type of plant is always got animus. Yeah. Okay. okay. See, I was taking more literally. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. And the other thing is, is that there there are like five different words. Or five different words that they use for rice, and uh, gohan is the cooked form of the rice. 
Okay. So like there's there's like Ine, there is um what is it? Uh Gemmai, there is Kome, there is Gohan, and I'm missing one and I can't think of it right now. <laughs> So there's like there's like five different uh, five different ways to say rice depending on the stage of the rice itself. Uh, so go Actually, ahead. I, I should kind of know that because of uh, <laughs> Sakuna of Rice to Ruin. It has the same thing. <laughs> oh. Uh. Is that, is that oh. Sakuna Hime. Yep. Yep. That was like one of my favorite games for the year. So good. Uh, um, so what's the last one here? Uh, Sakana? Yes. And I don't know what that is. To the list. To the list. Yep, I'm looking. I can't <laughs> copy this page. Can you, Desperado? Can't copy what page? The If we can copy the page and just put it in vocab reference so we don't have to keep going to the Google Docs. I already put it in vocab. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's at the very bottom. Uh, where are you? But I think this might have been in the previous lesson. Let me see if it's still here. Yeah, right. I think it might have been from a previous lesson. Oh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I All right, well, it. this one is fish. Oh, okay. Um, Sakana uh, Gairu. Ga oh, Gaimas. Very good. Fantastic. All right. So now we're going to move on to the next section here. And we are going to do. Um, uh, what is it? We're going or sorry. We're going to be using this here with sentences now. So we're saying there is a bus stop over there. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gotta remember what bus stop is. <laughs> yeah. So I can help you with that. Oh, I did. That. Oh, excuse me. So what is it? What do I have written right here? Basuto uh, or basute. Very good. Right. That is correct. So, do you remember over there? Um, uh, do remember go? with the. No. Asuko? What are the three? So, we had the triangles here. Like this. Right. What am I remembering? Are dot or kore sore dore. That's in possession of, right? That Asoko. or something. That is that is correct. It is yeah. Asoko. So it would be Asoko Basute Ga Arimas. Very good. Fantastic. Now let's do the next one. Oh man. Um let's go pull up our vocabulary. <laughs> Um, got Thursday class. And don't forget that we need a particle between them. Mokuyobi is Thursday. Mm hmm. And um, then what's the particle for that? Do? No. For time? Time is knee. Yeah. Yep. Ni okay. Um, I forgot what the word for class is. Um, All I can think of is student. <laughs> what student? Gakusei. Very good. Uh, that is that does that is. that count as class as well? Nope. No, 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 no. I was just going to see if that got me there, but it doesn't. I wrote it in is for you. Jo. Ju? Ju. Uh, oh. Ju kyo. Oh, wait. No, he's put. That's. Oh, um... Ju kyo. Ju kyo. Ju kyo. Okay, is it Jugyo or Jugyo? I think it's, I think it's Jugyo. Like oh they like oh sorry day? no they they took and they haven't gone over this one yet. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> they have what is it? Uh, uh, hmm. 
What is it? Or is it ku? Nah. Su <laughs> is what they have. There you go. Uh, That's a terrible thing to teach people, though. Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah, because, like, like, seriously. They just no. use katakana for class, even though they have a word for it, just because yes. they haven't gone over it in vocabulary. If you guys, guys want to go over, over the word, it's jugyo. Jugyo. We'll jugyo. use that for now. I don't, I don't even want to think about that katakana you just wrote. <laughs> right. So. Jugyo. Oh, it is. Jugyo. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So let's start with the first part. You had it correct. Mokuyobi ni Yugo Ga Arimas. Ga Arima. Sen. Very good. So Okay, so that's when the. Okay, because I was wondering, because everything we had done before was Ga Arimas, and I was like, even though it was kind of. I don't yeah. know, it kind the, of sounded yeah, like it was the just, negative, but it wasn't the negative. Right. Yeah, just uh, ma sen will always be the negative normally. Yep. Or sen yeah. at the end of death. Or yeah, ma sen, yeah, will always be the negative. I think. So, so like, and, this next one will have ma sen in it for sure. Yes. Or, yeah. That is correct. So this here is ju gyo. Ju gyo. Ju gyo. Very good. So the next one here, Lavitz, go ahead and... Uh, Look up the word for dictionary. Got it. Um, <laughs> That's from an older one, I think. Uh, I don't think it's in this uh, one. Oh, dictionary. Um, 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 I should. Re I remembered that one randomly the other day when I was doing something. <laughs> well, keep thinking about it and let me know when you give up, and I'll keep looking for it. Here, you uh, can check the page. I am looking at the pages we have posted. You should be Yugyo. looking. I wrote it in. Put all the, look at the arrows. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Got it. I don't. I have it minimized because I'm looking through all the pages <laughs> of dictionary. <laughs> uh, that would be um. What is that? G -show. Oh man. Yeah, G show. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so would it be starting with Watashi wa? No, but you wouldn't use no. the the literal translation is right here. Oh, there is not a dictionary. Yes. So G show ga arimasen. Very good. Fantastic. And let's do the next one. Um Hakase for professor. Yep. That is correct. Or you can just do sensei. Both work. Okay. You like um, Hakase is kind of like a title, and um, ha and Sensei is like a surname. Kind of I'm like. I'm just trying to think if the over there or the living part comes first. Uh, it this all it this will always first. yeah this will always come at the very end. Okay. Okay. Um, Hakase Yamashita Asoko. Um. Uh, so, let's try that one more time. So, what I was saying before is Hakase is used as a title and not a so you surname. Want to be sensei. Got it. Yep. So, like, sorry, you said you can use right. Sensei is what you said earlier. Right. So we were going with. So what what I'm what I'm just trying to get at here is like let's just say like someone is a doctor. Doctor is Isha in Japanese. But you would refer to the person as, uh, what is it, Yamashita Sensei, if they were a doctor. And it's the same with a lawyer. A lawyer is Bengoshi, but you would still call them Yamashita Sensei if they were a lawyer. Okay. Oh, Kaon got me all messed up. Not Kaon, what is it? Um, <coughs> Nichicho. Yep. Okay, so Yamashita Sensei Asoko Gaimas. So Yamashita Sensei. Oh, wow. <laughs> Asoko. Wait, places. Um. 
So it's Asoko Ga. I think you were right on the rest of it. Yeah. Oh. Let's try. You missed the wall. Yeah. You yep. missed the wall. That was it. Okay. That was um, it. Yamashita Sensei wa um, Asoko Ga Imas. Very good. All right. So, Lavitz, let's do the l last one here. Are we right in child or should I look it up? Kodomo. Kodomo. Uh, oh, man. Uh, what's possessive again? Um, Soko? Or is, oh, no. It's just there is a child. So it's just uh, Kodomo ga imasu. Very good. Fantastic. All right. Now. Now we're going to be pointing, we're saying that something exists at a specific location. Okay. So we have, what is it? Ni. So you used, it's the same thing as before, but you replace it with ni. Pretty much. Okay, got it. So we're going to take a look at the next slide here. Um, and we, I want you to take a look at the reference, uh, uh, stuff and, uh, it's going to be the location words is what you're going to want to look at. Uh, okay. We'll do a test to see if that makes sense. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, go to, go to vocab reference. And then at the very okay. bottom, you should see location words. Ah, uh, got it. So we're using right, left, front, back, inside, on, under, right. nearby, right. next, in between. I right. understand now. Okay. So first thing I'm going to ask here is, uh, what is it? Jisho wa doko ni arimasu ka? Jisho wa. Doko yeah, I'm looking for the word. Ka? Oh yeah, looking for the word for desk, right? Because I can, I'd be using that, correct? Yes, and it is. Okay. There you go. That's desk. Okay. So very good. Yeah. Um, can I hear the question one more time? Yeah, no problem. Jisho wa doko ni arimasu ka? Jisho wa. Ooh, what do you think? Location before item or item before location? I think it still starts with Jisho wa. It so does. I'm thinking desk, then we go to desk, then we go on top, and then we go ni arimas. That sounds good. Okay. Give so it a try. We go Jisho wa. Uh. Uh, dekue. Tsu? Tsu? Sukue. Yeah, sukue. Back to vocab reference. Sukue. Uh, sukue. Ue. So, check. Or is there. Check next to the. Ne check next to on. What is next to uh -huh. on? No. Oh, okay. Sukue no ue. No, sorry. Or Very good. Suku You're doing great. Wa no, you had it right. no. Okay. Suke. Or so, so. Jisho wa. Jisho wa. Sukue no ue nimas. Ni? Ni arimas. Very good. Try it one more time. Sukue o. Or sukue wa. Uh, suk, or no. It's not sukue. What's the beginning one? Jisho. Jisho, thank you. Jisho wa sukue no ue arimas. Sukue no ue. Uh, ue ni arimas, excuse me. Very good. So. Fantastic. Try one more time. Let's see if we can get all of it put together. Right. So, Jisho wa sukue no ue ni arimas. Fantastic. Very good. <clears throat> now. 
Uh, hey, I know sentence structure. <laughs> I got that on the first try on the structure. I just awesome. couldn't say it all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's take a look here, and I'm trying to figure out if we learned this here. Uh, kasa wa doko ni arimasu ka? Um, let's see. Would there be multiple options for this one? Uh, there is one option for this one here. Okay. And just so you know, it is not on. Oh. <laughs> I I was thinking it's if it's not on, then it's uh, the back of the door because we're inside of it, right? Nope. So it'd be nearby? No. Yeah, that would be correct. Oh, okay. So you're using nearby. So, kasa wa doko ni arimasu ka? Um, you want to figure it out in English before attempting it in Japanese? No, no, no. I think uh, we said nearby, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's using nearby yeah. as the is the the location parameter. Um, one second. I'm like, is she gonna write it down so she can read it? Because <laughs> that probably <laughs> would have helped me out quite a bit. Uh, I actually that's like, will that's door be art, right isn't it? there. That's door. Mm, door. Door. Yeah. Door. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense. <laughs> um, so, Casa wa. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Casa wa. Uh, Kikaku no uh yep doa ni arimas so i think you have that backwards am i correct Desperado? that is correct which bit i have the, uh so so you look at the yeah the... so if you if you look at the the nearby and no You'll see that line, and that means the object you're trying to think should be in front of Oh, that. yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, kasa wa, um, dore. Dore. Um, yeah, do <laughs> do uh, I, I beat uh, Desperado to that one, too. I pulled it in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where the no goes. Um, kasa wa doa no. Um, chika, yeah, chikaku ni arimas. Very good. Fantastic. Now say the whole sentence and try and do it smoothly all the way through. <laughs> okay. Um, Kasa wa doa ni doa no uh no we'll start start again um kasa wa doa no uh chikaku ni arimas very good oh yep so chikaku very good and Next, Lavitz. Let's see. I want to make sure that I got the uh, all of the uh, the stuff here correct. And I know. Racket wa doko ni arimasu ka? There are two possible choices. Oh, okay. Uh. Gotta look up that one. Uh, I'm going over here to look up what under means. Raketo wa suke or sukue no. Sorry, I didn't have underneath under yet. Uh, 
shita ni arimasu. Fantastic. Now, we've used shita. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to ask Eri, raketto wa doko ni arimasu ka? So use the second answer. Is what he's asking. Um, okay, hang on. <clears throat> oh, I don't remember the word for bag. Yeah, that's what I was about to look. Um, I have like. He's got. Oh, I did that wrong. Cas- casa? Nope. Caban. That is correct. Um. Raketto wa caban no. Uh. Naka ni arimas. Fantastic. Now, Lavitz. We took two weeks off. Why are we doing so? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the like here's fire. the thing. If you guys are doing well, that means it's sticking. Mm-hmm. And well, if this it's is all new things. <laughs> and but no, but I'm just saying that just means that it's sticking. You guys are hitting mm-hmm. a groove, which is actually a really good thing. I just need to refresh on my uh, my katakana because <laughs> I, I I come into these not studying at all, <laughs> expecting to just a bomb at some point. <laughs> so, <laughs> so neko wa doko ni imasu ka? Japanese word for chair is. Um. He's got me. Uh, okay, he's done writing. Uh, isu. Very good. Neko wa isu no. Sorry, opened up the wrong one. Uh, isu no. Uh, ue arimas. Ue. Nope, sorry. Ue. Dang, he got me with the living because we everything else in this room is non living. <laughs> <laughs> uh, neko wa isu no ue. Fantastic. Good job. <laughs> the one living thing. And I just compl- I'm like, wait a second. He tricked me. I got got. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Spy Frey. Was it Spy Frey Tab Volt? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right. Did that not play? Like, I don't think what? I heard the sound for that. I haven't needed it, otherwise I'd I get double audio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I got mic feedback on. I can't have a third me listening. Let me let me see. There it goes. Is it working? I don't have the sound on, but it went off. I see the. I saw Clint Eastwood. I was just checking to see if the sound was working. I hope the sound is working. I hear you. I don't know if the the notification is. If you oh, want okay. To play it one more time, real quick. Yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll play it just one more time, just to test to make sure that it's working. Hold on. Uh, it is. Oh. I just played it. I hope it's working correctly. I didn't hear it. That's the reason. Mm-hmm. I might have to double check that. Did you already play it again? Did yeah. You see it on your end. I'm catching up still. So. No, I, I saw it. I just I didn't hear it. So I'm sorry if that didn't play, but we'll get back to the what we're doing here real quick. Yeah, no sound, just for auto. Okay, sounds good. I'll have to check that the next time I. Uh, uh, what is it before the next class? And Wah-wah. so the next one here, Itty. Mm. Neko wa nani to nani ni arimasu ka? A nani to nani no nani to nani no aida ni arimasu ka? Um. <laughs> well, let's figure out what the question is, I guess. Nani no, nari ni arimasu was the question, correct? Yeah, I know, yep. it's, I know it's about the cat, but um, can you say it again, Desperado? Neko wa nani to nani no aida ni imasu ka? 
Okay, so the two bits I guess I was hung up on was the toe and the, was it Ida? Mm-hmm. So look at your location words. Which one is Ida? Oh, that's what he's asking. Oh, between. Okay. Um. And he's giving you the two to use. Yeah, yeah, no, I got that uh, part. What Denwa was the toe and then? Rakato. The toe is and. Oh. So he's okay. asking what between between what two objects is it between? Uh okay. So. Um. Oh, okay. So if you're doing multiple object objects before you go to the no, you would use toe, correct? That yeah. is correct. All right, that's new. I don't think we've done that at all, have we? No. We haven't. I'm pretty sure. Trial by um, fire. Very good. <laughs> Trial by fire is, fire is the best way to go. We're learning new things. Yeah, here's a big question, Lavitz. Do you remember what the word or the kanji for fire was? <laughs> oh, uh, I yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, I do know it. That's just because that's what the, uh, what's it called for fire blast is. Yeah. It's the symbol for Fire Blast in Pokemon, so I know what the kanji for fire is. Oh, no, that's die. Is it? Yeah, that's not fire. No. It's die, meaning big or massive. It's it's basically it's a representation of the uh, the giant flaming, um, what is it, die symbol that they use on uh, one of the mountains in uh, Kyoto. Ah. Um, for the foreign, can I, is it like a... Telefono. <laughs> it's Denwa. Denwa. Oh wait, Denwa. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I even said it before you asked. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> um. I only remember that because in Japanese class in high school we learned the the also out of date of here is my phone number um business card etiquette Denwa Bongo. Um. Neko wa, um, what is it? Aida kaban to, um, oh wait, it, does it have to be in that order? Uh, or are you just underlining so, it just because? So the, uh, the location word is going to go right here. So Ibon's oh, between, correct? Okay, yeah. Yep. So, so that's going to go after the two objects, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, neko wa kaban to. Um, okay. <laughs> neko wa um, den wa to kaban no. Uh, aida. Uh, ni -i Wait, yeah. Ni mas. Very good. Let's try that one more time. <clears throat> um Neko wa denwa to kaban no uh aida ni imas. Very good. Fantastic. Now Lavitz. Hi, Garrett. They're getting harder. You sound worried. <laughs> <laughs> Tegami wa doko ni arimasu ka? Uh, okay, so... Wait, Tegami... One more time? Tegami wa... Yes. Tegami wa doko ni arimasu ka? Oh, Tegami wa. So you want those two? Um, no. Wait, what was the notes again? What was the B? Oh. Um, that's a dictionary. That is a dictionary. Got it. I don't remember the <laughs> Japanese what? dictionary um, stuff. Jisho. Jisho. So, uh, Tegami wa jisha to impitsu no. Uh, I de ni arimas. What is 
I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with my pen. But did I get it right, though? <laughs> sorry, sorry, let's try it one more time. I think you had Damn. it right. <laughs> I, think I, think, I think you had it right, but I was worried about my pen. I'm like, it's not working. <laughs> I'm not able um, to help. <laughs> let's see. Um, what is the Japanese word for, what's it called again? Um, Dictionary? Uh, no, yeah. letter. Tegami. Tegami. So Tegami wa... Uh, Oh man, where is so much going on? Like, Tegami wa impitsu to jiten or G? jisho. What is that? Jisho. jisho. Okay. Tegami wa impitsu to jisho, uh, jisho no uh, aide ni arimas. Very good. Now, there's only one thing that you messed up there, but you did, you did like, the grammar was perfect. Mm-hmm. This is Aida. Aida? Yeah. Yeah, I think you said Aide, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I probably did. So, it's Aida. Ta, that is a ta and a da, yeah. Yep. So, tegami, <laughs> yeah, tegami wa impitsu to uh, jisho no... Forgot the first part of that word. Jisho uh, no aida ni arimas. Fantastic. Very good. All right. So let's move on to the next part. So now I'm going to ask you a question about this location here. And I'm going to use arimas, ga arimas, and what is it, ni arimas as well. And I'd like you to listen and like you to tell me where those things are, okay? If there, if there is one or if there is not one. So, Lavitz. Yes. Hi. Kisa ten ga arimas ka? Kisa ten would be library. Hi, Kisa Ten. Kisa Ten is like not a, art library. What is it then? It's a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop. Why is that a coffee? Kisa. <laughs> hi, Kisa Ten. Arimas. Kisa Ten. Are you asking if there was one, right? Yes, I'm asking. You need a particle. Oh, uh, Kisa Ten. All right, one more time with the question. Ni, so, or, Kisa, Kisa, Kisa Ten ga Arimas. Fantastic. Now, Eddie. Mm-hmm. Kisa ten wa doko ni arimasu ka? Um, okay, I'm going to need to find the word for bank and hospital. I Bank begins with the G, doesn't it? That's very good. And I've forgotten what the rest of it is. It's the one we don't use as often. <laughs> yeah, he put it up there for you, though. Is that a go or a ko? No, That's the gun. That's ko. That's gi That's cool. okay. in ko. Gin ko. Gin ko. And byo. Byon? Byoin. Byoin. Yeah. Byoin. Byoin. Yeah, I kind of also like just like when you're going with the byo, like you just kind of like not do the e when you're reading it, right? Yep. Byoin. Um. Uh, and Japanese word for coffee shop. No, no, no. I got that. Um, okay. Aida is between, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Kisa ten ni. Kisa ten. It oh, it is wa. Okay. Yeah. Um. Kisa ten wa. Byoin to uh gakyo uh hm gakyo no gakko school oh wait ginkyo gi- no ginko very ginko? good yeah. um ginko no aida uh ni 
Arimas. Very good. Fantastic. Good job. Now, could we also have gone... What's coffee shop again? Kisaten. Uh, Kisaten. Kisaten. Because he didn't ask in between. He just asked where it was, right? Yep. So could we have just gone to the right of the bank? Sure. As an answer? Yes. So it could have been... So it could have been... Yeah, I'm like, she's doing extra work, isn't she? Yeah. For some reason, I kept thinking that he did ask that it was between, mm-hmm. not just where it was. No, mm-hmm. no, I just asked where it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, I <laughs> I'm like, she's doing extra work, work, isn't she? <laughs> I'm not going to stop her, but... <laughs> I'm I mean, like, I think this is where he wanted like us that, to that, use left so and right so of. Bad. Yeah. All right. So, Eddie. Mm-hmm. You being Kyoku ga arimasu ka? That one's live, right? You being Kyoku ga arimasu ka? Um, you're just asking if there is a library, right? Library is Toshokan. Oh. oh. You being Kyoku. You being that Kyoku. Does... Um, I know what that oh. is, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't think that's supermarket. Let me... No, it's not. Um, you can check it. Uh... Oh, I did that wrong. I'm really trying not to use Google, Desperado. I yeah. truly am. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to help here. Oh, wait. Post office? Very good. Luckily, I've seen a Japanese mailbox before. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I asked you. I know you've seen the Japanese mailbox before. I know Labbit says too. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, you've you've never watched an anime before in your life. They don't use post offices in anime. <laughs> they use mailboxes though, and the mailboxes are an red with the symbol. Seen a mailbox, but I've seen one in real life. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I can't think of a mailbox in anime. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could easily Homework just pick an anime and find it. <laughs> <laughs> find a mailbox in anime. <laughs> Next time you watch something, I'm going to go point it out. <laughs> You'd be like, that's a mailbox right there. <laughs> so you were asking if there is a mailbox, right? I'm asking if there's a post office. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Can you write that down? The you yep. Kyo Kyo. I got, I've, got this, I've got the symbol for the post office right there. <laughs> Very good. So we have... Oh, what I screwed that up. You being kyoku. You being kyoku. Okay. Now it's a song. Hi. You being kyoku wa doko ni arimasu ka? What is a department store? Correct. Is yeah. What, uh, is the yeah? Would it just be departmental? Da or de 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 bato. Oh, de sorry, bato. sorry. That's or, de pa. It's supposed to be de, de pa. Bato. That's my yeah, mistake. Gotcha. My bad. De <laughs> pato. Okay. So de pato. Uh, you being kyo. Kua, uh, de pato no, uh, he da di, he da di ni arimas. Very good, fantastic. So, Labbit's is What was the Kitari bit? Hidari? Hidari. That's, yeah, to the left. It's to the left. Oh, uh, for some reason I heard Ki. <laughs> <coughs> Kidari is the na- is the name of a child. Or, like, a, it's a person's name. It's Kidari. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Before he asks us, what's toe used for again? <laughs> That's like between when you have it, like the first after the first. Between oh, and okay, got it. Okay, and uh, next one is okay. 
エリーさんスーパーはスーパーがありますかあースーパーはがありませんスーパーがスーパーがあります。OK。So, ラビッツ。Uh, so, These buildings are weirdly structured. Because、yes. is it to the right of the restaurant or is it behind the restaurant? Well, is that let's, the front let's... of the library where library is written or is that the side of the library? <laughs> <laughs> it's intentionally. It's, in, it's intentionally. Could、uh... you just say, like, But,、uh, the back of the restaurant? Behind. 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 Yeah. Do we have a behind? Yes, ma'am. No. We have back. We have back.、Uh, That's what I mean. Which is behind. Front and、okay. back, yeah. So I, gu- I, I guess I kind of just took front as、Ushi、front and back as whatever. Yep. Whatever. So, Super wa doko ni a r i m a s u ka? Uh. Let's go with restaurant. What's the definite what's the word for restaurant? Actually, no, give me library because I have been guessing library all night. <laughs> well, it starts with this. Uh, nope. To. Toshokan. I got to. Toshokan. That's it right there.、All、Good.、Right. So, uh, Supa wa Toshokan no. エリーさんはバスステバスステありますか<咳>バス停がありますかバス停がありますどこにありますかあバス停はあ I forgot how to say bank again I think、like... that's the top left one、yeah, that's... or is it the blue? it's blue, my bad ギャンコギンコギンコギンコバステはギンキョギンコギンコギンコのまえにあります。Very good, fantastic. Good job. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. There's more. Th- there's、oh、more. <laughs> yep.、Um, we're going we're gonna to skip to going and doing some of the kanji here because we're going to practice writing a little bit of kanji here at the very end. We've got about five minutes left, and I was hoping we could,、uh, we could do a little bit of、uh, kanji drawing here. A little bit of a cool down, if you will. Sure. <laughs> Let me go grab a pencil. <laughs> Yeah, especially after you freak us out with those really long looking sentences. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why is this not working? I didn't have to go far. I found a junk piece of paper in my room. Okay. There we go. All right, so we will just kind of zoom in here. That is really big. That is about right. We'll go here like that. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here and we'll come back. We're going to do a couple of these and then we'll work on the next ones here during the next lesson. So, first one here is day. So, the different ways you can pronounce this is he, b, ni, nichi is what they have in the textbook, and there's about eight, o- or there's about,、uh, what is it, four or five other ones that they use for this kanji. This kanji is used a lot. 
And uh, Can you remind me again how you figure out which one it is? So we have uh, what's called the Kunyomi that we learned about. Yep. And then there's the Omyomi. And one is the Japanese reading and the other is the Chinese reading. Now, the the way you you learn how to to navigate <laughs> this here is like when we're, when we you have uh what is it like Sunday or Sunday when they use this one here and they have this at the very end. So this uh what is it the the yobi section I'm blanking mm -hmm. on on the kanji for for nichi yobi it's something like I just remember it has it's multiple bits. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's something it's something along those lines there. Um you'll have it where certain sections where you have that kanji that's right there and this one here will be the omyomi and then you'll have this one which is separate because you have you also have like uh kayobi. You also have uh what is it? suyobi as well. You also have mokuyobi. Like that. So this, these two here become an omyomi reading, and this one here becomes a kunyomi reading. Is that always like that? It's not always like that, but usually if there's a large group of kanji all jumped together into one, you can almost guarantee it's going to be the omyomi reading. And if it's usually like one or two kind of by itself, uh, what is it? Er, like by itself, and it and it's... It's it's one of those things that after a while you get a feel for it, but trying to explain it in the very beginning is it, it'll it'll be very confusing. So okay. what what I'm basically trying to say is, is you get a feel for it, and what happens is is you you you'll start to see words that are Japanese and words in the sense of like the kunyomi, and then you'll see the words that are um what is it o that have the omyomi that are like from like Chinese brought in. So. You'll see that usually large groups of words put together will normally have an uh, have a uh, have an uh, uh, omyomi reading. Mm. So, like the kanji for desk, or the kanji for dog. You have uh, what is it? Let me see if I can get this right. So that's the kanji for dog, okay? Which is inu. Why am I why am I blanking on new? I shouldn't be blanking on new. Okay, so that's Inu, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in the Japanese for a seeing eye dog is Modo Ken. So this one here, this inu is you learn this as the kunyo because it's the base meaning of dog, and then this one here is like a seeing eye canine, is the best way to describe it. Hmm. And that's how you tell the difference. But like I said, it's very confusing to do that in the very beginning, of learning Japanese. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, what is it? Uh, th th Throwing somebody into um, high-level physics when they are just mastering, uh, like, basics in science. Mm. That's the best way I can describe it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the how you draw these here. So if you want to get a pen and paper, I will show you how to draw these. And if you guys are ready. Yep. Okay. Just one second. Here we go. Okay, so we start with our first line, and most kanji, almost all kanji, starts top to uh, top to bottom, and it goes from uh, what is it, left to right. So you're going to start with the first line here, like this, and then the next one here is actually going to do an L shape, uh, like an an is it inverted. Be longer, or is it should be just about as long. It should be just about as long. If you're a little over, it's okay. And then you come here and then here. And that is the correct stroke order. So we'll start with, we'll do this again in the stroke order. So you start with the first line. So that's one, 
two, three, four. And that's the stroke order for this here. Okay, and then we'll do the next one. And uh, the next one on our list of kanji here is going to be hon. And we're going to finish these three up and then we're going to call it after that. So this one here, we're going to start left to right. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, what you want to do with this one here is you do one like this, two, and then these should stick out a little farther than, uh, what is it, the, the first line that you drew. Now, another thing to keep in mind, and I will try and do this with a, a lighter pen or a smaller pen, you do one line and it comes to a stop and then one line to a stop and then this one comes out in a brush stroke and this one comes down and stops. So right oh. here it stops. You don't go with a full brush stroke out. And then this one here stops. So you'll do one, two, brush stroke, stop, just like that. Mm. And this one actually needs to be a little higher. And then the last one is going to be uh, Jean. This one is Hon or Moto. So if you probably heard the name Yamoto before, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the character that they use for that Moto, like Mr. Yamoto. And the next one we're doing is person, people, Hito, Jean, Nin is the uh, different pronunciations for it. Hito, if I'm not mistaken, is the kunyomi, and jin and nin are um, onyomi. So let's get over and work on this here. All right, so this one's really easy. Now, keep in mind that uh, there are there's another one for um, haidu, which is backwards to this one here. So this one, we're gonna be doing hito first. So we do one line down, and this one does a brush stroke, and then this one comes down and stops. So we'll try that again. So brush stroke to a stop. And it should look like uh, somebody without arms walking <laughs> is what it should look like. Now keep in mind that um, with this uh, kanji here, that this one is, is hito, but there is another kanji that looks like that. That is the opposite. And this is for like, um, like putting something inside something else. It's the, it's the, um, it's the, uh, it's Japanese for like insert. Hmm. So just keep in mind that uh, the stroke order for these two are, are different. All right, so that is going to be our lesson for today and we'll have more for next time. But uh, I'm going to call it for today, and I will talk to everybody later, and we'll see you next week for our next Japanese class. So uh, take care, and I hope to see you all later. Bye-bye.